everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and uh, hanging out with me this morning. Well, for me, it's this morning and it is Saturday and it is oh dark 30 yet again. You'd think I'd sleep in on a Saturday morning, but no, I've been probably awake since 3, 3 a.m. So yeah, I got up and I was diamond painting. I had a cup of coffee and I thought I'm going to do another video. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do another video. So we'll see how the lighting is again when it's oh dark 30. Lighting's not great in the house. But anyway, welcome. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Um, and so let's go ahead and uh, dive right in. So this is again, number, is this part three? Part two? I don't, I lost track. It's too early in the morning and my brain's not working, but I'll figure it out and I'll get it in the title. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. And this is all, I believe this will all be diamond painting stuff. Um, and I am just reaching in and I am just grabbing stuff. Um, I haven't looked, I have not looked at this one. So I don't know what it is. Well, I can tell from the thumbnail just now. Uh, but you know, I am into horses right now, right? I am so into horses and well, it's a little bit blurry, but I think you can get the idea. Isn't that one pretty? Wow. I really do like this one. I hope it comes out. It comes with the standard kit, of course. I think I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit. There we go. And I need to grab my straightener. I'm not quite ready, even ready yet this morning. Yeah, I got up this morning and I um, watched a few videos on YouTube, trying to get caught up a little bit on some of my favorite creators. And I'm sorry if I'm behind on, on your videos if you're watching me. I am trying to get caught up. I just can't quite get there. And I watched an episode of NCIS. I, um, I've been, I started actually re-watching it. I started from season one, which was, I don't know, was that like 20 years ago or something? I don't know, it was a long time ago. So I did that. But isn't that one pretty? I really do like that one. Again, sorry for the glare. You are gonna have more glare this morning just because of the lighting. And let me show you the drills. Again, these are all rounds. Um, 20, I didn't even show you this. I can tell it's early. We've got 29 colors, so you can see that. They are numbers, letters, and a lowercase letter. I'm gonna show you the drill field which is clear, lots of confetti. You know, my paintings tend to have a lot of confetti because of all the colors in it. So that is that one. I like it. Happy with that one. So I'm gonna move that off to the side. And let, let's grab a, another one again. Don't know, what we're, don't know what we're getting. This is all random. I am just reaching into the bag and we'll see. But I think I'm gonna like this one. Oh, there's the drills. Doesn't wanna come out, it seems to be stuck. There we go. Maybe I can get it out. Okay, there we go. And this one, oops, let me get it the right way. There we go. We got a seascape. Isn't that pretty with that beach scene? Oh, this one feels kind of weird. The, the canvas feels, oh, I know what this one feels like. Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat always talks about it, where it feels kind of like a ribbon. It's a weird kind of texture, and it's a weird cover sheet. It's one of those, if I can even get the cover sheet off. And I'm wondering, wondering if this is double-sided tape. It's just, this is a weird cover sheet, guys. 
It's really thick. It's very, very thick. But I love the colors in it. I definitely love the colors in this one. It doesn't smell like double-sided tape. It doesn't look like double-sided tape. No, this is poured glue. It just has a thicker cover sheet. So this one has 24 colors. They are numbers, letters, numbers and letters. So let you take a look at that. The drill field, I'm going to, to be honest with you, I'm probably definitely going to need my light pad on this one. But you can see it. It's all clear. I think we're going to have really pretty colors. So this one comes with a um, inventory sheet. And it comes in the little notorious little bags. But I do. I like this one. And I don't know. What is the size on this? Oh, it's a 40 by 40. But it's pretty. I do like that. But you know me, anything with color, right? Anything with color. Okay, let's get the next one. Now this is something different. You guys are probably going to be a little bit surprised that I got this, I think. Um, because I do not believe I have a painting in this style. I got a skull. And I got it because of the color. <laughs> I can't help myself. I love the color. Isn't it great? I do. I really like it. 24 colors. It's a 40 by 40 um, numbers, letters, and they are in numerical order. Tita approved. And um, yeah, I, I really do. I like this one. Again, not my typical type of painting. Yeah, not my typical type, but I thought it was really pretty. Um, and I'll show you the drills in just a second here. Well, today, um, well, after, whoops, I didn't get that very good. After I get done with this video and get it uploaded, um, I'm going to get ready to go thrifting with my sister. Let me show you the drills real quick. Yeah, we're going to go to um, some yard sales, maybe an estate sale, and um, to some thrift stores. Love the purple. Look at the colors. Those are great colors, aren't they? But I do. I love the skull. Super neat. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, let's grab another one in here. Hang on a second. Let's see what... Okay, let's go ahead and grab this one. This is a bigger one. And this is one of those uh, center one, center, I think, I think it's center one, how you pronounce it. And let's pull out all the goodies. And this is a little higher end um, canvas. Let me get this. And this is a little bit out of character for me too. But again, I got it because of all the colors. This one is a big one. I believe it is a, what is it? It's a 50 by 78. You get all the glare off so you can see it. But it's a dragon. And it looks like a stained glass dragon. Isn't he pretty? Again, a lot of color on this one. See if I can turn it sideways a little bit. Again, I am really apologize for all the glare. But oh dark 30, we just can't get good light. So I'll do it that way. This one has 45 colors. I love it that these come on the foam rollers. So there is, I mean, I'm gonna have to work a little bit to get um some of this uh, bubbly stuff off. It's just because of the cover sheet. 
once I can get the cover sheet laying flat, I'm not going to do it on camera because it's going to take me a little bit more work to do it. But I do like this one. Um, and wait till you see the colors. Wow. Aren't those great? And I do want to show you, usually on these a little bit more expensive canvases because this was a little more expensive. Um, I want to show you some of the drills, okay? Do I know this one has ABs? And I know I show a lot of purple, but that's what this one has. This has a purple AB on it. So let me just pull that out. And let me grab a let me grab a white tray. One second. Let me grab a tray that I was using to get up with. And this is going to be a good opportunity to talk to you guys too. A lot of people have asked why I put washi tape on my tray. I've gotten a lot of um, asks about it. Um, and I, I, oops, I've got a, a drill still in there. Um, I did not come up with this idea. I have no idea who did but it's a fabulous idea and it helps line up your drills better. Oh, this is a square. I didn't realize that. This one's a square. And let me just shake this down and I'll show you what the washi tape does in helping me line it up. See how the drills all stopped at the washi tape? So it lines it up a little bit better makes it easier but those are really pretty drills aren't they those are really nice you pour these back in yeah i do like this one for all you dragon lovers or because this is the year of the dragon you might like this one now i'm not affiliated with tinu um, in any way, I, I purchase all of my, my things. Okay, so let me put this back. So, again, I just wanted to show you the drills a little bit. And again, I'll show you the colors, which are super vibrant. When these get on the canvas, it's going to be beautiful. So there is that one. I'm going to put that off to the side, too. Okay, let's do a few more, okay? Let's do a few more. Oh, I love this one. This haul is really all about color. Um, I fell in love with this one, too. Again, I'm, I'm just pulling these out in no particular order. It's just how they're coming out of the bag. I love, love, love this one. I think it is so adorable with these cats. This is a 40 by 60, has 29 colors. Oh, what did I do with my straightener? Oh, there it is, it's hiding. You guys saw it, didn't you? Um, anyway, it's a 40 by 60 and I love this one. Well, you know me, I love cats. Love dogs, love horses. I just love animals. And I love animals. There we go. And this one is in numbers. I if I can see over there. Numbers, letters, and a lowercase letter. I sometimes have trouble with lowercase letters. Isn't it gorgeous? I really love that. I'll show you the drill fill too. It's clear. I don't know how well we're gonna see the kitty's whiskers. Might have to do something about putting some different colored drills down. I think the eyes are gonna turn out just fine. But yeah, the whiskers may not. And let me show you all the colors here. 
which again, they are vibrant. Oops, there's a piece of trash on there. And I need to grab um, a pen because we don't have the canvas number on it. And I need the canvas number or I'm gonna get them all mixed up. Okay, here we go. I said get me a Sharpie. Get me a Sharpie. Those diamond painters, we always have to have that, don't we? put cats on there. So that takes care of that one. One, two. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Let's grab a, let's grab another one. Get this one open. I put that off to the side a little bit. I have a little bit more room. This one I thought was gorgeous too because, you know, I love dragonflies, I love butterflies, and I thought this one was really pretty too. Let me straighten it and then I'll lift it up so we don't have all that glare. Oh, this one is really stuck, isn't it? Wow. Really stuck on there. There we go. Goodness gracious. Let's see if I can get that straightened out a little bit. There we go. Now I can hold it up so you can see it better. Again, I just thought Dragonfly was really pretty. 24 colors, numbers and letters, numerical order. Yeah, I do like this one. And it's a bigger 40 by 50. And I'll show you all the colors. Really pretty. There's that one. And I think, I think we'll do one more, okay? Now, this is in the same theme um, as the last cat. Because sometimes I kind of go in themes or in collections. Maybe if I can open it. Because I've had not, I've had enough coffee. Did I tell you about my good coffee I got? I think I did. I think I'll show it to you again anyway because I'm thinking about making a cup as soon as I get done with this. I don't even have it right now. Look at those cats. I think they're really cute too. 21 colors um, and these are in letters. And I'll show you the drill field which is clear and there's the legend yeah I like that one this is the one that's got a little bit thicker cover sheet again let me just straighten that out there we go I do want to take a look at it. I don't know if this is poured glue or if it's tape. Let me just see. This is kind of weird. Nope. This is tape, guys. Let me just show you. Yeah, see the tape? This is double-sided adhesive. So the other one was double-sided. I, I had a feeling it was. I knew I was wrong. That's why I wanted to double-check it. Um, hang on a second. So this one is double-sided adhesive. This one is double-sided adhesive. Same company. So it used to be, you know, when I started diamond painting a year ago, 
that the double-sided adhesive had a had the white paper cover sheet. Um, or you could tell by how smelly it was because, oh man, that double-sided tape was really, really stinky. Um, but not so much anymore. They're kind of sneaking this in. And what kind of made me think it was because of this thicker cover sheet, but this one also had, let's see if I can see it. I thought it had some rivers in it. Yeah, it just, it just looks different. Um, I know there are a lot of people out there that really like double-sided adhesive, and that's fine. I'm just not, I'm just not a huge fan of it. I'm not, I, that's just my personal preference, and that's all. That's all it is, is a preference. Um, but I really do like this painting. And, again, it comes with the little drill bags. But that's okay. That's all right. Let me put that off to the side. I'll put that off to the side, and I have got a huge mess. Huge, huge mess. And let's see. I'm going to do one more. Oh, this is going to be the same thing, guys. This is the same company. So I'm sure this is double-sided adhesive as well. Oh, I am on the struggle bus today. I am on the struggle bus. Hang on. There we go. I found it. Found it. I've been kind of into beachy ocean type themes. This one, let me tell you, it looks much better in the camera than when I'm looking at it. When I'm looking at it, it's a pixelated mess. This one, this one's definitely going back just because of, of the look of it. I'm not happy with this one at all. Um, it does have 20 colors. I'm holding it up so that it doesn't have the glare on it. Um, but I don't like it because it's so pixelated. Um and it is double-sided. So that one's not so much. I'm just gonna show you briefly the colors. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I like that one quite so much. And let's do, let's do another one, okay? I think this is a pixelated mess too. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. Now, show you this one. So I thought this one, it's a 35 by 70, because I'm kind of into portraits. Now maybe this is just kind of a, um, a negative type image. So this one may come out, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Uh, it has, I don't even know how many colors because it's, they're not numbered. Yeah, they're not numbered. Um, I'm not gonna straighten it because I'm gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of work to straighten it. But I thought she was pretty anyway. Um, I will show you that. So I think I'm just going to have to do this one. I think I'm going to have to do this one and trust the process. Sometimes when there are these negative images, at least I think that's what this is. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is it a negative image? I don't know. Um, I'm going to show you the glorious colors though. Look at these glorious colors. Wow. Now, I do like these. I really, really, really like these. Those are stunning. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I am happy with that one. Well, we are just on a roll, guys. We are on a roll. Um, let's, 
Let's do one more, okay? I'm going to do one more and this is it. Made this a lot longer than what I thought. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is an, another dragonfly motif. And I thought this dragonfly was beautiful too. Move off all my stuff off to the side there. This is a, a 40 by 50. This is a good size. Isn't that pretty too? 24 colors. Yeah, I like this one very much. Very, very much. Now, this, the colors are in a train on this one too, so that makes it a little bit easier. Got pretty colors on this one too. Although this is a little bit more muted, but I do like this one too. 24 colors, numbers, letters, symbols. And so that is that one, guys. And that is all that I have for you today. Um, yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. Yeah, I don't want to go any longer. There's a couple items left in the bag, but we will catch that on the next video, okay? So I'll just go really quickly. There's the dragonfly. There's my pretty portrait. And again, I think it's more of the negative type of image, but that we're going to have to see. Let me know what you think about that. Um, this one, I don't like at all. Super pixelated. It's going back. Um, and it's double-sided adhesive. Don't like it. Um, I do like the cats. This is double-sided adhesive as well. Um, debating if I'm going to keep it. I think so. Um, this one, same thing. Um, not certain on this one. I don't love, love it now that I see it. I do love my dragonflies very much. I really love this one. This, this one is definitely a keeper. I love that one. My cats. Um, I do really love my dragon, even though, again, I, this is a little bit out of my style, but I really do like it. I love that one. And again, something else that's not really in my style, but I really love, I really love that one. I really do. That's a keeper. And then, of course, this one is a keeper. I love that one too. Okay, everybody, that is all that I have right now for you. I hope you have a great weekend um, or whatever day you happen to be watching my video. Might not be the weekend. Uh, have a great day or evening, whatever time zone that you guys are in. Um, remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. All right, everybody. Take care, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye-bye.